Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma, thank you so much for joining me. Happy New Year, um, welcome to 2024. If you've been here, no matter how long you've been here, thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you had an awesome holiday season and your new year is off to a great start. Um, there's been one big change to my channel is that I'm now offering YouTube membership. It is very reasonable. It is, I believe, $5 a month. And with that, you get uh, early access to all of my classes. You get an extra video each week. And what this is going to be is kind of all different things. Some of it will be extra yoga class, workshop style classes, um, arm balances, inversions. This will also be stuff like sequencing and yoga teacher training materials. So if you're a yoga teacher yourself and you like the way I sequence my classes, I'm kind of going to talk about how I do that. I'm going to break down the class from that week. So if you are a normal subscriber, I still so appreciate you. Thank you for being here. My classes are not going anywhere. I'm still releasing one public class a week and then an extra class for my members. Um, this is also just a great way to support my channel as I do love making these videos, but it does take a lot of my time um, to film and edit and upload. So if you like my uh, content, I would so appreciate your uh, subscription to my members only side. All right, let's go ahead and um, get started with this class. We're gonna grab a, let's go child's pose to get started. Knees wide, forehead down. Melt your forearms to the mat and then notice all the other points of contact here. Knees, shins, tops of the feet. Let them feel heavy and supported. Pull a deep breath in. Feel your rib cage expand against your thighs and then open your mouth sigh. Again. One more. Seal your lips, breathe in and out through your nose. Walk your hands a little more forward. And then over to the right. Bring your right hand down by your right knee. And then keep extending through that left arm. So the left pinky finger push down. You feel that through your armpit. Keep sinking your left hip back. You almost feel a little twist over your right thigh. Now just turn your right fingers to point away from you. Kind of pull yourself over to the right. Extend your left arm up and over. So you might have to adjust your right hand. I like a little bend in the elbow. Reach through your left arm. Maybe roll out your left wrist. And then bring yourself up. Take your left arm underneath your right arm. You've got eagle arms. Your knees are still wide like child's pose. Lift your elbows up a little bit. And then bow your forearms towards the mat. Again, lift your elbows up. Bow your forearms to the mat. One more. Lift your elbows up. Release your arms, take nice big cactus arms, arch your back, flare your ribs out. And then extend your arms all the way forward back to your child's pose. Walk your hands over to the left. Left hand down by your left knee, pushing into the mat. So you think a little twist to the left. Sink your right outer armpit, your right rib cage down, and push your right pinky finger into the floor. Turn your left fingertips outwards. Take a side stretch over to the left. See your right side body stretching, little bend in the left elbow. Try to keep sinking your right sitting bone to your right heel. Maybe roll out your right wrist. And then bring yourself up, take right arm underneath left arm. You've got eagle arms, your knees are still wide, inhale. Exhale, drop your forearms towards the floor. Again, inhale, exhale down. 
Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Cactus bend your arms, arch your back, flare your ribs out. Extend your arms forward and come forward tabletop. Bump your knees under your hips, tuck your toes and just shift your weight forwards and backwards a few times. You might also like to flip your wrists so the fingers point back. That way you're not only getting that stretch on the bottoms of your feet, but also through your wrists for three. Two. One, turn your fingertips to point forward. Keep your toes tucked. Hover your knees off the mat. Look between your thumbs. Plug your shoulder heads back. Keep your knees bent as you lift your hips up, bear pose. Push your stomach to your thighs, lengthen your waist. Straighten your right leg, sink your heel to the floor. And then switch. Pedal it out a bit on your own. Lift your right leg up behind you, bend it, stack it, maybe move around at the ankle or the hip. Push evenly into your palms, lengthen through your waist. Square your hips. Step your right foot up to your right thumb. Drop your left knee to the mat, untuck your toes, Anjaneyasana, reach up. Take an inhale. Exhale, twist to the right, wide arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist. This time, left hand on the right knee. Look back at your right thumb and hold. Firm up your left glute. Push your left toenails through the floor. Re-extend your left arm so you've got wide arms once again. Unwind your torso so your arms are wide to the sides. Spin your left shin behind you and face the left side of your mat. You're in like a modified warrior two. Bring your right elbow to your right thigh so you're in modified side angle. Think about scooping this right glute underneath you. So for me, I'm pushing my hips towards the camera. Extend your top arm for three. You always have the option to put a block under your right hand. Two. And one, cartwheel your left hand to the back of your mat, extend your right leg, you're in modified side plank. Lean back a little bit, so again, push your hips. For me, it's towards the camera, it's gonna be towards the long edge of your mat. Big inhale, exhale, look down at your left hand, plant your right hand, roll onto your right toes, and then send your left leg up and back, so you're in three leg down dog, face the back of your mat. Bend your knees, stack your hips, and move your left leg around in any capacity. Keep your right leg sturdy and strong. Inhale, square it off. Exhale, step to your left thumb. Drop your right knee on Janayasana, reach up. Keep your legs strong and stable, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left, wide arms. Again, reach up. Twist left. One more, reach up. Twist left and hold. Right hand, left knee. Look back, left hand. Three. Spread the left or uh, right toes apart and push the toenails down. Two. One, extend your right arm once again. Unwind your torso and keep going until you're facing the same long edge of your mat in that modified warrior two. Modified side angle, left elbow thigh or left hand to the mat or block. You're scooping now your left glute underneath you, trying not to let that left knee fall inwards. Use your left elbow to keep pushing the left knee out. Feel external hip rotation on the left side for three. Two. One, cartwheel your right hand to the front of your mat, modified side plank. Make sure you spin your left toes in, push your hips forward and maybe curl back a little bit. Look down at your right hand, left hand on the mat, step back plank pose. Dome your upper back, scoop your hip points forward and your tailbone towards your heels. 
Shift your weight forward. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Tops of your feet down. Now kind of lift your chest up and drag your bottom ribs forward. Lift your hands and your chest off the mat. So baby cobra pose. Feel your inner thigh spiral down. Press your toenails through the mat. Pull your chin towards your throat. You should feel your back muscles working quite a bit here. So as you push down into your hands into cobra pose, I want you to still think about those back muscles. You're just getting a little assist from your hands, but you're not just straightening your arms and dumping into your shoulders. You're really using your back muscles. Spiral your inner thighs down for three. Gaze forward, two. One, sink back like you're going to child's pose, then tuck your toes. Lift your knees and your hips, bare pose, and straighten into your legs, down dog. Adjust your feet if you need to. Take a breath in. Exhale. Take a breath in. Exhale. One more. Lift your heels, take as many little baby steps as you can up to the front. Big toes touch or hip width. Lift up halfway, extend your spine, sternum forward, fold forward, grab your ankles. Press into your feet, rise, flat back, reach up. Grab your elbows up top, pull your ribs down, tailbone down so you're not arching or flaring, inhale. Exhale, lean over to your right. Use your right hip to push your left hip to the left. Pull your belly button back. Tone your lower abdomen. Lift yourself back up. Two fists, cactus bend your arms, curl back. Scoop your tailbone underneath you. As you rise back to center, grab your elbows opposite and lean to your left. Push your hips to the right. Use that left hip. Roll some weight to the inner edges of your feet. Inhale up, two fists, cactus bend your arms and curl back. Make a bind behind your back. Lift your sternum, lean back more. Bend your knees generously and fold forward. Shake your head no and yes when you get down. Hands on the mat, halfway lift. Hands down, step back, or if you're ready, you can jump back. Shift weight forward, lower chaturanga, with or without the knees. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, tone your belly, push your thigh bones back, downward facing dog. Focus more on hips lifting than legs being straight or heels on the mat. Avoid dumping into your shoulders. If you feel like your face is getting really close to the mat, try to actually bring your ears between your biceps. Almost feel a little pull of your sternum forward. Pull your belly button up and in. Squeeze your lower abdomen. Lift your heels. Look forward. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Extend. Fold forward. Rise. Reach up. Grab your elbows and lean to your right. Just one breath. Inhale, center. Exhale, curl back. Inhale, center, switch the grip. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, curl back. Bind your hands, opposite grip, inhale. Bend your knees and fold, exhale. Take a breath in and out. Release your hands, lift up halfway. Hands down, step or jump back, chaturanga with or without your knees. Inhale, cobra, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe evenly in and out through your nose. Try to extend your breath, make it longer, more complete. No need to rush the breath.
Lift your heels, look forward, step or jump to the front. Half lift, fold. Rise, reach your arms up. Last time, grab your elbows and lean to the right. Inhale, curl back. Opposite grip to the left. Center, curl back. This time, just reach your arms back up. Bend your knees, sit your butt back, and sweep your arms back. Stay nice and low and then reach your arms up, Utkatasana. You can separate your feet if you need to. Can you sink more weight into your heels? Bend your knees more. Extend your arms directly forward. Lift your heels up off the mat and slowly lower your butt towards your heels, toe stand. You can extend your arms forward, keep them there, or bring your hands to your heart. If this feels easy for you, try to close your eyes, turn your attention inwards. Keep breathing. Take your knees wide, Malasana, garland pose. Walk your hands forward. If garland pose doesn't work out for you, take a yogi squat. If you feel a lot of pressure on your knees, try to hug your knees in. The arms can stay extended or you can use your triceps to block your shins. Push your shins back and then grab onto your heels. Sink your heels closer towards the floor. They don't need to touch. Five. Four. Three. Two. Four arms on the mat. Step back, forearm plank. Stack your shoulders over your elbows. Scoop your tailbone towards your heels. Feel your hip points pull forward. Tone your low belly. Walk your feet forward. Lift your hips up, dolphin pose. Push your forearms into the mat so you have space for your head. Just like down dog, you can keep a little bend in your knees. Your heels don't have to touch the mat. Keep pushing down into your forearms. Lift your right leg up and hold for five, four, Three, two, one. Right foot down, send your left leg up and hold for five. Look back at your right foot, neutral spine, four. Push into your forearms, three, two, and one. Left foot on the mat, drop your knees. Come up to camel pose. Push your hips forward, lift your back ribs, and then curl back. Hands to low back is great. Hands to heels is also great. Try not to take your hips with you. Keep pushing your hips forward. Spread your toenails and push them into the mat. Push your spine in behind your heart. You might like to take a lion's breath here. Inhale. Return your hands to your waist and pull yourself up. Plant your hands in front of you. Just take a neutral spine to start. Tabletop. And then round your back cat pose. Take yourself right back to downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale. Step your right foot up to your right thumb. Spin your back foot flat and rise warrior one. Pull your right hip crease back. Cinch your ribs together, inhale. Exhale, skandasana at the back, but only go like halfway down. Keep your butt in line with your left knee, so you should feel your left leg working. Flex your right toes so they point up. Feel external rotation in your right hip. Stay there or extend your arms out wide, palms down. Push into your feet, rise, star pose. Look up at your hands. Take a warrior two to the front of your mat. Turn your right toes out. Flip your right palm, reverse warrior. Reach up and back. Side angle, bring your right elbow to your right thigh. Extend your left arm up. Get lighter in your toes, heavier in your heels. Extend your top arm, left arm. Then come all the way up through center and around to the back twist. Right hand on the mat, roll onto your right toes. Sink your left hip and bump it to the right. 
look up at your left thumb. Look in front of your mat, or I guess in front of the back of your mat, bump forward to standing L. Lift your right leg up and drop your outer right hip. You can bend your left knee slightly if you need to, try to get your left hip crease back. Shiva squat, tap your right knee behind your left calf. Lower the weight so you feel it in your left glute. Hug your right heel to your butt. Keep your left hand on the mat and open up half moon pose. Both legs are nice and active. Make sure your left toes are not changing direction. Gaze down is easiest for your balance. Start to bend deep into your left knee and take a step back to warrior two. Soften your shoulders. Reverse triangle reach up. Think more up than back. Triangle pose, reach left hand beyond the foot and go down. Grab your shin, squeeze your legs, option for a block under your hand. Expand your chest, look up at your right thumb as long as that feels okay. Breathe here for three. Two. And one, press into your feet, rise all the way up. Turn your left toes in and fold all the way forward. Hands on the mat, squeeze your legs. Imagine sliding your mat away from you with your hands. Feel free to put a little bend in your knees. Lift your shoulder blades away from your ears so they're actually going down your spine. You're just upside down. Lift up halfway. Walk around towards the front of your mat. Bump your left foot a little to the left and come up to a high lunge crescent warrior. Your back knee can have a little bend if you need to. Can you bend more into your right knee? Inhale, exhale, twist to your right. Reach your fingertips away from each other. Push the back of your left knee up. Slowly drop your left knee to the floor. Take your right hand to the back of your left leg and start to curl back. Reach your left arm up, but try to plug that upper arm bone back down into the shoulder. Take an inhale. And exhale, windmill your hands to the floor. Tuck your back toes. Send your right leg up and back. Inhale. Exhale, crunch your right knee over to your left elbow and kick it out, fall in triangle. Spin your back foot flat. Stack your right shoulder over your wrist. Right hand down. Step right foot to right thumb. Spin your left foot flat. Your feet are set up like warrior one. Walk your hands 45 degrees to the left into a down dog lunge. Try to get your right rib cage away from your right thigh. Push into your hands like your arms are really in down dog. You're using your arms a lot. Relax your jaw. Walk your hands over to the left. Wide leg forward fold again, but this time hands on your waist. So grab your waist, think elbows to the ceiling. Notice how much more you have to use your core and your legs when your hands aren't helping you. Squeeze your upper quadriceps, tone your belly. With every inhale, you can feel a little bit more length, like your sternum comes forward. With every exhale, you feel more fold three. Two. One, keep that grip on your waist and rise all the way up. Spin on your heels to face the back of your mat. Set your feet up like you would for pyramid pose. Cactus bend your arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Put a little bend in your left knee. Hug your right heel up towards your butt. Take your right hand, inside grip on your foot. Keep your left arm in a cactus shape as you start to kick back into dancer pose. Keep your chest square towards the wall or the space behind you. As you start to extend your left arm, we have a tendency to turn the chest to the right. So keep plugging that left upper arm bone back. Drop your outer right hip. Start to shift your gaze down towards the floor and see if you can lower your left hand to the mat or a block. If you need to, you can release your right foot and just go standing splits. Three. Two. One, right hand down, step right foot to meet left foot. 
Bend your knees. Utkatasana, reach up. Prayer hands to your heart center. Take an inhale. Exhale, prayer twist to your right. Hook your left elbow outside, wiggle into it. Get your elbows stacked as much as possible. Look down at your feet. Lift your left foot and take a long step back into a twisted lunge. Push your right palm down into your left palm. The back of your left knee pushing up for three. Tailbone back, crown forward, two. One, hands on the mat, right leg up and back, three leg down dog. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Stay there or flip it over, wild thing. Make sure your left shoulder comes over your wrist first. Nice and slow, <laughs> flip it around, right foot step forward. Now, I want you to roll to the outer edge of both feet. You're turning to face the same way we have been. So for me, to the camera. Roll to the outer edge of your left foot. So your left hip, left outer thigh finds the mat. You can lower your left hip all the way down and then we're gonna lift the hips up, extend the right arm up and over. So I call this a sunrise lunge. We'll do that again, lower the left hip down and lift it up. This time, lower the left hip down Keep your right foot exactly as it is. This is probably the most confusing part of class. Slide your left knee outside of your right ankle. You're still facing the long edge of your mat. Take a twist, hooking your left elbow outside of your right knee, and now you're twisting towards the front of the mat. So this is Ardha Matsyadrasana. If you need to, you can extend your bottom leg straight, but make sure it's the right leg on top. Look over your right shoulder for three. Two, one, unwind, take a counter stretch over to the left, little dip down like a push up. Push yourself back up and keep your left hand where it is. Your top leg, that's your right leg. Extend that out towards the front of the mat. Turn the toes in like warrior two. You're gonna push down, lift your hips up and come back to your modified side plank. Push your hips towards the long edge of your mat, just like we did in the beginning. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, lead with your right arm, sweep it around towards the front of your mat. You've got lizard pose, both hands inside. Your left shin has to spin behind you and the toes have to tuck. Lizard pose, both hands in front of your right foot, face or uh, inside of your right foot, facing the front of your mat. Hug your right knee in towards your right shoulder. Push the back of your left knee up. Breathe, three. Two, one, drop your back knee, turn your right toes out, crooked monkey pose. Right hand on right thigh or reach back for a left foot. All right, release that grip, right hand on the mat, step left foot, outside left pinky finger, grab a yogi squat. Use your elbows, push your knees outwards, low back in, back of the skull lift. Hands on the mat, maybe knees to armpits, grab the mat with your finger pads and look forward. Maybe your feet lift up off the mat, bakasana. Tone your belly, grip with your finger pads. Get your feet together, three, two. Step or jump your feet back, vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. And do that whole long sequence on the other side. Take a breath in, exhale. Step your left foot towards your left thumb. Rise up, warrior one. Cinch your ribs together like you're tying a shoe. I heard that cue yesterday and I absolutely loved it. So think about like you had shoelaces on your ribs and you're trying to tighten it, pull the ribs together. Inhale, exhale, turn to the right skandasana, but just go halfway down. Get your right hip in line with your right knee. 
Externally rotate your left thigh bone. Extend your arms out. Neutral spine, pull your ribs in. Three, two, one. Star pose, rise, reach up. Take a warrior two to the front of your mat. Adjust your feet. Flip your left palm, reverse warrior. Side angle, rest your elbow on your thigh or use a block, especially starting. Press the outer edge of your right foot down like you're lifting the arch. Extend your top arm. Scoop your left glute underneath. Push your left knee to the left. Rise all the way up through star pose and around to the back of your mat twist. Left hand on the mat, reach your right arm up. Push the back of your left knee up. Look forward, bump your hands forward, standing L. Drop your outer left hip. Push the ball of your right foot down, inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat. Tap your left knee to your right calf. Load the weight in your right glute. Hug your left heel to your butt. Right hand stays down, half moon pose. Keep your gaze down for more stability. Push your right thigh bone back and lengthen the side of your waist. Pull your ribs in, belly button back. Breathe, three. Two. Slowly put a bend in your right knee, long step back, warrior two. Set up, heel to arch, and then straighten your legs, reverse triangle. Reach more up than back. Through center, trikonasana. Right hand, grab the shin or use a block. You can always shorten the stance if you need to. I definitely do. Squeeze your legs, your kneecap should lift. Avoid flaring your ribs out, pull them back. Three, two, one. Bring yourself up, hands to your waist, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Let's grab the big toes or the outside edges of the feet. Lengthen, inhale, fold, exhale. Squeeze your legs. You want to roll some weight to the big toes without gripping too much. Once again, shoulder blades away from your ears. Relax your jaw. Release your grip, lift up halfway. Walk towards the front of your mat. Frame your left foot. Find three leg downward dog, lift your left leg up. Crunch your left knee over to your right elbow and kick it out, fall in triangle pose. Make sure your back foot spins flat or you're gonna feel pretty wobbly. Left shoulder over your wrist. Right hand down, step left foot to left thumb. Spin your right foot flat, walk your hands 45 degrees to the right. You're in a down dog lunge, very similar to humble warrior, but a little bit less work, honestly. Your left hip comes back and bumps to the right. So usually the left hip likes to swing all the way over to the left because that's the path of least resistance. So you're trying to get it to go a little to the right. Should feel a little bit funky. Walk your hands over to the right. Prazerita once again. This time bind your hands behind your back. Especially here, with every inhale, feel a lift of your sternum, extending your spine. Every exhale, more fold. You'll notice it's a little harder to fold when you don't use your hands to help you. So really squeeze your legs. Think about lengthening the sides of your body. Squeeze Mula Bandha to your root lock. Belly button pulls back, tone. Lengthen, spine, three. Two, keep your bind, one, pull yourself all the way up and then bring your hands to your waist. Spin on your heels to face the back of your mat. Set your feet up like you would for pyramid pose and then cactus bend your arms. Feel the back bend already in your upper back, little bend in your right knee. Throw your left heel up towards your butt, squeeze. Left hand reach back, grab your foot. Keep this right arm in a cactus shape as you start to kick back. Drop your outer left hip, plug your right shoulder back. I like a little bend in the standing leg. If you wanna extend your right arm, just make sure you're plugging that upper arm bone back. You're trying to square your shoulders towards the wall or the space behind you. Start to shift your gaze downward. Drop your right hand or both hands onto the mat or a block. 
So you're in sugar cane pose or standing splits. Three. Two. One, left foot meets right foot. Utkatasana, reach up. Prayer hands at your heart. Breath in, breath out, twist left. Hook, wiggle into it, stack your elbows, push your left palm down into your right palm. Look down at your feet. Hug your right heel up to your butt and then take a step back, right foot. If you need to adjust your feet, go for it. Your legs are strong and sturdy. Tailbone back, crown of the head forward. So try to take some rounding out of your spine for three. Two. One, hands down, left leg going up behind you, three leg downward dog. Bend it, stack it, make sure your right shoulder's over your wrist if you're interested in flipping over a wild thing. Right leg is straight, left knee is bent. Nice and slow, flip that around, step your left foot forward. Keep your right hand on the mat, roll to the outer edges of both feet. You might need to wiggle your left foot back a little bit. All 10 toes are facing the other way this time. So for me, away from the camera. You lower your right hip, outer right thigh to the mat, and then lift your right hip into sunrise lunge. You should feel a nice stretch in your hips. Lower your hips down. I like to reach the left arm towards the front of the mat and then lift the hips up, extend. This time, lower your hips down and stay there. Keep your left leg, that's your bent knee, exactly how it is. Take your right knee outside of your left ankle. So I'm facing towards the Buddha, away from the camera. Make sure it's your left leg on top. If you need to, extend your bottom leg straight. Reach your right arm up and twist to the left. So your torso is now facing the front of the mat. I know it's a lot. It's a lot of rights and lefts. Take your time, that's part of the fun. Counter stretch, plant your hands towards the back of your mat, just a little dip down. Press yourself back up, keep your right hand where it is. Your left leg, that's your top leg, extended out towards the front of your mat. Toes turned in like warrior two. You're gonna need to push down a little bit and readjust your right knee into that modified side plank. Push your hips forward. Lead with your left arm, sweep it around towards the front. Both hands inside the left foot. Your right foot will have to spin behind you into lizard pose. Tuck your back toes, push your palms through the mat. Hug your left knee in towards your left shoulder. Drop your right knee to the mat, crooked monkey pose, left hand on the left thigh, little twist. If you'd like, go for your back foot. Plug your right shoulder back slightly. and then release, left hand down. This time I want you, instead of stepping to yogi squat, step into tabletop. Drop your forearms to the mat. So we've done an arm balance, we've done dolphin prep, and we're gonna try pincha mayurasana. Forearms on the mat, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. So this is dolphin pose, we've done this before. Once again, you can put a little bend in your knees. Your heels don't have to touch the mat. If you feel pretty comfy here, Extend one leg up. I like to look between the thumbs. I find that the easiest way to learn. Take tiny little hops with the right leg up. You might get some hang time, you might not. And then when you're ready, switch. So right foot on the mat, left leg lift. Take tiny little hops. And then when you're ready, Bring yourself down or keep trying. I'll kind of go over some of my favorite tips here. So for Pincha, it's the hardest arm balance that I learned. I would recommend if you're just learning, starting out against a wall, your fingers will be pretty close to the wall. So if my wall was like right at the front of the mat, I would go maybe an inch. So just a few centimeters away from the wall. That way you can use your top leg to reach towards the wall and get some stability. 
It's a lot in your um, upper back, your shoulders, your rhomboids. It's a very challenging pose. Make sure you're comfortable in dolphin first. One of my favorite drills that you can do for pincha is dolphin push-ups. So once you're in dolphin pose, keep your legs as they are. So even if you have a little bend in your knees, just keep that. Lower your nose towards your thumbs and back up. Nose to thumbs and back up. Do that a few times. And it's gonna take some practice. You know, you can't just learn these poses in one day, maybe not even a week, a month, or a year. I practiced this pose for a very long time before I got it. So be patient with yourself. Um, I think I have a tutorial already on my YouTube channel about Pincha, so I will link that here and I'll link it below as well. All right, let's go ahead and we are gonna come on to our seated position. Turn to face one side of your mat and take your legs out nice and wide. Flex both feet. Dive your right shoulder inside your right leg. Extend your left arm up and over. Reach for your foot. I like the right hand either pushing into the mat to kind of counter and almost help me lean back or right hand on the left hip to help sink the left sitting bone for three. Two. One, bring yourself up and switch. Dive left shoulder inside, left leg, right arm reach up and over. Push your left hand into the mat, kind of lean a little bit back, flex your feet and try to sink your right sitting bone. Three. Two. One, bring yourself up, keep your legs wide. To modify, bend your knees a little bit. You could also sit up onto a blanket or a little cushion. Walk your hands forward with your feet flexed. You don't have to go super far to feel the stretch, just go where you feel it. Think less about how it looks. Walk your hands back towards you. Swing your legs towards the front of your mat and lie down onto your back. Hug your knees in for a moment and maybe grab your ankles. If you can, grab your ankles and put them flat on the mat, go for it. That's pretty challenging for me, so I can you know, grab them and then once I put them down, I kind of release the grip, that's okay. Just keep your fingers kind of close to your feet. Brush your heels. Scoop your tailbone towards the front of your mat, towards your heels, then drive your hips up. Here you could walk your hands a little bit closer to your feet if you'd like, and then take your hands inside your feet, inside your ankles. The palms will face each other, and then think about pushing the hands away from each other into the feet. So feel a little opening on your chest. Just keep scooping tailbone. Three. Two, one, one vertebrae at a time, lower yourself down. Take a breath. Cross right ankle over left thigh. We're gonna take figure four on the right side. And then we're gonna go into a figure four bridge. So just enjoy this nice outer hip stretch. I think right knee a little bit forward. This is, I know we didn't do pigeon pose today, but this would be a great alternative to pigeon pose if that ever uh, hurts your front knee. Now keep your right leg in figure four, put your left foot on the mat, arms by your side. You can push your palms into the mat, lift your hips up. Try to keep your hips level, let your right knee fall a little bit towards the floor. Drive your left heel down. You should be feeling this in your left glute. Keep your right toes flex. Three, two, one. Lower your hips down. Half happy baby. Take your right hand, grab your right foot, extend your left leg long. I like left hand on the left thigh or reaching out to the left. Three. 
Release grip and take it for a twist. Over to the left, right arm reach out, let your shoulder blades be flat, heavy on the mat. Unwind, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, figure four to start, grab the back of your right hamstring, use your left elbow to push your left knee a little away from you. All right, release that. Right foot on the mat, arms by your side. Drive your right heel into the mat, lift your hips up. Flex your left toes, let your left knee fall kind of towards the mat. Try to keep your hips as level as possible. Can you still scoop your tailbone slightly towards the back of that right knee for three? Two. One, lower your hips down. Left hand grab left foot, extend right leg straight. Little tuck of your chin. All right, release grip, take it for a twist. and then bring yourself back through center. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock up and down your spine a few times. After that next one, just extend your legs straight. You can grab your butt and move it back a little bit. Your feet can be together more active or feet apart a little bit more restorative. Stretch your arms up and fold forward. Keep your feet flexed. You can put a little bend in your knees. You could even put like a bolster, something underneath your knees, a rolled up towel. Walk your hands all the way back. Lie down onto your back and take happy baby pose. Grab your feet or ankles. Tailbone returns to the mat, little tuck of your chin. You might straighten one leg. And then the other. Maybe both. When you're ready, you can start to extend your legs towards the front corners of your mat. If there's anything you feel is missing from your practice, shoulder sand, fish pose, anything else you want to do, of course, it's your practice, it's your time. So take your time. When you're ready, lie down onto your back. Adjust your body into a comfortable shape. Let your mind and body soften a little bit. Release your grip. Release your muscles. Release your thoughts, take a breath in, and exhale, Shavasana.
take your time. If and when you feel ready, wiggle fingers, toes, head side to side. A big stretch with your arms. Hug your knees in. Roll right or left and make your way up seated. Eyes closed or soft gaze downwards. Shoulder blades melting. And bring your hands to heart center. Feel the ease at which your breath is flowing. Feel the oxygen, the reju rejuvenation with each breath. All the life that's being brought to your body. Bow your head towards your heart. Om Shanti, Om Peace. Namaste. Thank you guys for choosing to practice with me. Um, I hope you had fun. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, or definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And once again, if you're interested in joining my members only page, it uh, is very reasonable. I'm going to break down how I sequence this class, why I put the poses together like this. Um, so that's what I'm going to start with. And then as time goes on, I'll be adding things like behind the scenes, uh, maybe like a day in my life. I don't know. Let me know what you want to see if you do end up joining and I will make it happen. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.